Welcome back. I thought a good second video would be about what computational design even is. Now, let me first start off by saying I am no expert. I, at the moment, only have 3 years of experience in this field. So instead of giving you a fixed definition that might be wrong and might go out of date in a couple of years, I thought it would be more interesting if I talk through what computational design actually is. Then I'm going to talk through what I find more interesting, which is the mindset surrounding computational design. So, let's get into it. If computational design could be summed up in one sentence, I would say it's all about using computers to help us design things better. To be more specific though, these methods come in different flavors. There are a lot of methods out there, but these are two methods that I use every day. The first one being parametric design, which is the ability to drive a design based on a few key variables. Driving your design process based on a few key variables allows you to make quick changes. The second being algorithmic modeling, which is building a step-by-step -step process to generate a model instead of manually making the model. This is really useful to freeze models, and at the same time, you can develop tools that help speed up projects or the modeling process. But there's so much more to the field than just that, which I will hopefully get to cover in future videos on this channel. For example, there is still generative design, form finding, environmental analysis, and so much more. But while methodology is cool, I think the computational design mindset is more interesting. It's the mindset surrounding how we approach problems from a computational design standpoint in the first place. It's a very small, subtle shift, but the idea is to shift away from how can we solve the problem to how can we best tell the computers to solve the problem. This new perspective isn't just automation or software development. It's about delivering better, more efficient solutions to more complex problems. It could even lead us to find solutions to problems that we have not yet seen. Like before we had computers, we had to do all engineering calculations by hand. But now with computers, we run simulations instead. The fundamental knowledge doesn't change, but the way we assess the problems does. So I think with computers being as powerful as they are now, we need a smarter way to fuse design process and computational process into one. And that's what computational design is about. It's one of the reasons why I'm so passionate about it. So hopefully that was interesting and at least somewhat helpful. So if you're interested in computational design, be sure to stick around. Thanks for watching. Bye.